<laughs> make your debut. The YouTube sensation. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Connecticut's got three quarterbacks. What have you seen so far on film from all of them? Well, uh, they used uh, two of them for the regular offense, you know, uh, running their offense. And uh, I don't know whether they've decided on one or not, you know. But uh, then the third kid uh, is in there to run their wildcat formation plays. And uh, that's what they've done in two games. Uh, so we kind of don't know what to expect as far as that position is concerned. But uh, the, the two that run their regular offense can throw the ball pretty good. They're, they're not bad. Uh, they're not running quarterbacks, but uh, they can uh, – looks like they read coverage pretty good. I know they haven't had great numbers up to this point, uh, but they've had a lot of teams putting a lot of pressure on them and making them move around and things like that. But they do a pretty good job of handling the offense. Have you ever coached against a team that plays three quarterbacks? I mean, you'll run into some that play two, but three is kind of a unique kind of thing. Yeah, no, I never have, you know. Uh, so we had to prepare for all of them. Uh, you know, uh, one of them, the uh, number 18, I can't remember his name, uh, the starter, uh, he, uh, I remember numbers, uh, he, he's uh, the thrower of the three. Uh, then uh, number two comes in and he's, he can run some option stuff for him, uh, as well as throw the football. And then uh, number 11 comes in, he's, he's the runner. So, the, so Paul, Coach Rhodes uh, referred to as kind of three different schemes almost when they use each of these different quarterbacks. It is, it is, you know. Uh, so, you know, we've got to prepare for all of them in a short week, and that's presented a little bit of a problem. So, uh, but we're fighting through it, and uh, we'll make it by Friday night.